I bought a ballistic chronograph clamp style tachymeter. It can measure the speed of bullet from 1 to 2,000 meters per second. I got this for $20. It's rechargeable to USB. Let's open it to see what's inside. Ballistic chronograph is used to measure the power and speed of pellets. It also helps to determine what type of pellets is suitable to your air gun to increase the accuracy. The clamp can be adjustable and it has a large clamp so that you can use it with big barrel air gun and silencer. Let's test the charger. The red light indicates that it is not full charge and the blue indicates it's full charge. To turn it on, just press the button for 2 seconds. This is the proper way and distance in attaching it to your air gun. The default settings when you turn it on is MPS or meters per second. Press the button to see the ballistic record. Number 2 has no records because we just tried it once. To record again just press the button for 3 seconds. But if you want to measure the FTS just turn it off by holding the button for 4 seconds. I have 70 grains pellet, 20 grains pellet, 23 grains pellet, and 25.8 grains pellet. We will test this to our chronograph. Turn it on by pressing the power button for 2 seconds. Press the button when you see the FTS. It will blink. Press the button again. You will see 0. Press and hold it for 3 seconds. The two red lines indicates it's ready to record. We're going to shoot using the 17 grains pellet. We'll try the 20 grain pellet. We'll try the slug pellet. We'll try the heaviest pellet. Here are the summary of shots. The lighter the pellets means more velocity but less power. The heavier the pellets means less velocity but more power. From this summary the heavier pellets can take down large targets. To see our previous records just press the button. You will see all the recorded shots that we made. It can hold 36 records. Once you turn it off all the records will be erased. Also there are different settings for the FTS from 0 to 10. This ballistic can be turned off if you see the two red dash. Let's turn it off by pressing the button for 2 seconds. Now let's turn it on again by pressing the button for 2 seconds. Press the button again when you see the FTS. Press the button when you see the suit. Press the button when you see 0 to switch to 1. Press the button for 4 seconds to select the number 1 settings. 2 red dash indicates that it is ready to record. The settings for 1 is FTS and FPE. I will turn it off again to show you the other settings. Let's turn it on. Press the button when you see FTS. Press it again when you see suit. Press the button again to shift from menu 0 to 10. Once you're decided to the menu, press and hold it for 4 seconds to select that menu. The two red dash will indicate that it is ready to record. The settings for number 10 is FTS and MPS. This is how easy and convenient to use this ballistic chronograph. If you have questions just leave a comment in this video.